Hello everyone, my name is Yasmin and you're watching the making of my first single, Lihatla. Malam tu aku terima nota suara. Lihatla is actually about my traumatic past. A lot of things happened, like breaking promises, made me have trust issues. So it's mainly because of that. I made sure that the lyrics were pointed out as how I thought my life was. These traumatic things actually made me become that dark, quiet, arrogant me. But yeah, I rose up and I became who I am now. I am now gonna go off for my shoot for my album cover and I can't wait how it's gonna turn up like. So Lihatla is a song I wrote when I was feeling really down. I brought it to my vocal coach, Uncle Vince. You know, he gave me advice and stuff. And literally I know that I'm finally making an album cover for it. Hi, my name is Vince Chong. I'm a singer-songwriter, music producer, and a vocal coach. And also a vocal coach to Yasmin. Lihatla initially was written by Yasmin and she gave me a few lines. And initially was, Take a look at me now. Take a look at me now. Things that she went through in her life, through relationships and all that. But I think this song really goes out to everyone. Been cheated on, been played and all that. We are going to do this in Bahasa Melayu and I felt the best person that I know is M. Zuklifi. Hi, uh, my name is M. Zuklifi and I'm the lyricist for Lihatla. I looked at the lyrics, I listened to the song and what I did next was to find out more about Yasmin. This is a breakup song, so it's a sad song. By the time we reach the chorus, she rises above. For me, the chorus was already catchy. Uh, take a look at me now, so I had to maintain that chorus. Hence, I used Lihatlah, Lihatlah Diriku. You know, as it turned out, she really delivered those lines, really, you know, heartfelt. To all the fans out there, I hope that you get inspired by Yasmin because she is one of many, many teenagers out there who are holding on to this dream and she never gave up. Lihatlah, this is the beginning of something really good. This is my first time doing this kind of shoot. So I'm literally trying to nail the expression they need. Hopefully I can do this. This is my second outfit. Changed the lipstick too. It was red at first and now it's nude. So we got the music done. We got the album cover done. Now we're of course gonna have to shoot the music video. It was always like my mother taking videos of me. But it was never like a proper, you know, arrangement or anything. The first thing that literally came out of my mind was water. You know, I want rain. I want this. I want that. Everything that includes water, dark, exaggerating. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm more of that. I'm like a, I have to admit, I'm a, I'm a diva myself. <laughs> diva. Me being the diva, I of course thought of something me, which is water and roses. Because I love roses. Black and colorful. That's what I've always dreamt of. Like, you know, I got to achieve that. Because it's me. I want people to watch my music video and be like, Oh my God, that's so her. You know, I don't, I don't want it to be like, Huh? That doesn't suit her. That's not like your personality at all. The bathtub scene. It was cool, yeah, but you know, at first I was always imagining either food coloring or black soap or, or bath bombs. What happened? <laughs> the water was dark, yeah, but what made it dark? It wasn't anything I thought of earlier. Everyone called me Kichap Girl. Lihatla, brought to you by. And then that Kichap bottle right there. The smell though, the smell, thank God it was covered up with lots and lots of water. So the funny thing was, the crew called it a wrap when they saw me coughing. I couldn't take it anymore. There was too much glitter in me, literally in me. <laughs> so we had to cut the scene, but gladly we did manage to take the shots. The second day we started early, but it was interesting too, because we had to shoot it in an abandoned shopping mall. So first it was an abandoned building. Now this is abandoned shopping mall. What? In that shopping mall, I had to walk back and forth on his long carpet. My white dress is like, it has a lot of layers on it, so we have to take care of the dress, right? Every time the director asks me to sit down, 
I carry each layer one by one. Okay, sit down, drop it. And can you imagine how many takes we had to take? I think I did it about 50 times. Collecting everything, collecting, throwing it back, collecting again, throwing it back. How tiring, right? So after that, we went to the location I've never seen before, actually. It was, whoa, it's amazing. It's still under construction. It's not even done yet. That's what makes it more interesting. It's super nice because it's super huge. It looks like I'm in another country. Don't get fooled. There was snow. There was a snow effect coming down. I call it snow, but I know it's flour, but who doesn't want snow? <laughs> but anyway, it was flour. The experience was definitely an experience I'll never forget. I want to thank her TV crew, my mother, my vocal coach, Vince Chong, everyone else who supported me all the way. Thank you for watching my episode. My name's Yasmin Aziz.